Hello, Tara of what of the America? <laughs> what is it, America? <laughs> Hi guys. I know it's been a while since we've seen y'all. Well, talked to y'all. And there really hasn't been much going on. Um, a quick recap. Um, if you're new, we are Lesby Two Mommies. I am Amanda and this is Ruby. And so our last video, I believe, was my sis, or the saline ultrasound, and they found a polyp. And the next step was to... Uh, schedule my surgery and that's scheduled already for April 19th I believe and so that'll get taken care of on my end we did get blood work done um, for me more so uh, everything came back normal only thing was they found my thyroid was a slightly elevated so they wanted at a 2.5 and mine was at a 2.7 so I'm on these things called Synthroid, and what that is is I take it in the morning, 30 minutes on an empty stomach before I eat uh, for 30 days, and I actually have a what is it? Uh, like an appointment to uh, I guess to check, check your my levels, levels again this coming up Friday in the morning. So hopefully they calm down because I want them to be good. It really um, wasn't that much over what it should have been. It was like I don't know. Well, they get, they want everything perfect. Yeah. So that was that, and we also got uh, blood taken for what is it? Our genetic, a genetic testing. Mm -hmm. So like a we super said, panel. yeah. So like we said before, we both have to get tested just to make sure we're not carriers of the same thing for some crazy reason. And we got our results back, and I got test. We got tested for a hundred and thirteen genetic conditions. So that's pretty good, and uh, my results came back negative for everything, so I'm good to go there. But Ruby, <laughs> nothing too crazy for her, so she no. did test positive for one thing, and it was for alpha thalassemia, I believe. Yes, and we talked to a, a genetic counselor so that way they can tell us what that means and what that means for us in trying to have a baby. Right, and the main thing with that was uh, it doesn't really affect our future baby. It just, you know, part of his or her genetics and how they're either going to be like me or like their dad. So, but nothing abnormal. Um, I'm a silent carrier, so it doesn't really affect me at all. It's nothing too crazy, but we did get some video of our conversation with her, and she was really nice, and she answered all our questions, and she basically told us it's something that we shouldn't really be worried about at all. It's just, you know, part of my genetics and something that I have or carry. Yeah. No, it's not a high risk or anything. No. And the, it's kind of hard to explain, I guess, just to put it in the video. It's just... Yeah. Um, there's nothing to worry about mm -hmm. in there. So we're in the clear there. And just to be on the safe side, I was kind of paranoid. Um, just to see about our donor, sorry. And he got extended testing as well. And he tested negative for what Ruby tested right. positive for. So we're good there. So we're good there. And it was awesome. We got more information on that. And it's we're going to really print out everything. Mm -hmm. It's just, whew. We're getting there. We're doing a little checklist here um check one was um getting my uh surgery booked and i do have to call back the surgery place to see that if they for the fertility clinic did uh send all my papers over there to give me scheduled for that day but everything looks good so far and they said that they'll email me or call me a week before for pre-op to tell me what's all going to get down there and that's on april 19th when you're supposed to have your surgery right Yes, April 19th. And that's, a, like I said before, it's a crazy month. And <laughs> I know I've said this before, but we're really going to get cracking on uh, eating correctly. You know, not a lot of carbs, low sugar and all that. 
Um, it was my birthday on Thursday, so I've kind of been celebrating since then. Yeah, Amanda thinks it's her birthday I've like been all week. <laughs> drinking every day. <laughs> um, but today is my last day, and I'm just ready. Um, we also have to schedule an appointment with um, our what is that? The little counselor to see about talking about our IVF and just get a session in with her and then do like a phone call with a legal um, person. Um, but yeah, nothing really too exciting is going it's on. a lot of waiting other and than, just yeah. our blood work and stuff like that. But we're I still know. trying. I'm ready. It's mm. March already. February, <laughs> gone. <sighs> and now it's March and then... Next month, April 1st, we're going to be calling our fertility clinic to do the pre-authorization so that way we know how much all of this is going to cost. And it's going to happen fingers somehow, crossed some way. That we start everything in May. Sometime mm -hmm. in May, whether it's in the beginning, in the middle, hopefully the beginning or the middle, not the end. Welcome back to our channel. <laughs> we're lesbian two mummies <laughs> we're trying to be two mummies yes we should have named it trying to be two mummies we're in the parking lot waiting for our family to get here we have a ceremony a little wedding I know ours was almost two years ago <gasps> welcome back to our channel hi how are you I love Jeffree Star, by the way, so that's in reference of Jeffree Star. What is he saying? in Ulta really? today with his sponges. And, oh my god, why can't I think of things today? His eye brushes, his makeup brushes. Mm. I ordered his sponges, but they don't come until Tuesday. And I went to Ulta today with some of my besties. And the sponges were right there. And I was like, dang it, I should have just bought them. I feel like I need more eyeliner. I think that's what's going on. So there's a theory that Amanda has with her mom. If y'all have noticed this little... <laughs> <laughs> Indention. Can you see I can't it? even see it. It's like a freaking shiny on my there forehead. There it is. I see it. Bing. I forget what my mom says, but I tell her she dropped me on the floor. <laughs> she dropped it. it. And she said, no, something I rolled off the bed. <laughs> Is that what she said? That's that. what she said. Oh, cool. Parents. Mm -hmm. And in today's forecast, weather. Oh. It is cold in Texas. Okay, guys. Like last week, it was like 80 degrees out there. Right now, I mean, this isn't very drastic, but it says 49 degrees. It's cold for Texas. It's really cold and it's really windy and we have to be outside. Yeah. I have a sweater in the back seat. Yeah. So, and I didn't wear lip, I mean lip gloss because this wind is going to be sticking and no, this is good. I look really pale. That's probably why I need to take vitamin D. Hey, so do I. Oh, that was another thing. Yeah. I have to take <laughs> Damn it. That's why we're doing this random video because oh. we feel like we rushed that other one. And we're yeah, like... because we had to come down here and got to pay for parking and we didn't want to be here late and the event starts at five so i did mention i'm taking thyroid medication and also they said i have a vitamin d deficiency which i was surprised i know i mean they, not that i don't know if that's like really correlation to it but i think it is they wanted at 30 and i was at 23 and i do not understand that i don't does everybody have a vitamin d deficiency because <laughs> i'm always out in the sun yeah and I'm just very tanned, mm -hmm. so I don't know. So I have to do that. I mean, it's not like anything crazy. I mean, just add on to the pretty much vitamins I take already. So I'm taking my thyroid medication. I have to take vitamin D, vi vitamin prenatals. D. Prenatals. Prenatals. I'm taking my biotin and magnesium for just to have extra. You know, want my hair to be grow long and healthy and stuff. So, yeah. And I've started taking those other pills. I forget what they're called. I don't know. You just gave them to me. I have to take them every night. Oh, the COQ10. Did we talk about those? And I don't think so. Man, and, we've been missing out on a lot, guys. And, oh, fish oils. The omega-3s. 
because from the book that we're reading, they say those really help with egg quality. For the It Starts With The Egg book. And so since she will be doing the egg retrieval, hopefully in May, that'll be just shy of three months. So I so, take that like every night. Um, trying to boost up her egg quality because our doctor said it's all about quality, quality not and not quantity. quantity. Right, guys? <laughs> know what we're talking about. So, I know. Now we're just in the car, just chit chatting. And you want to see our view? I wonder if you can see it from here. I don't know. There it is. We live in San Antonio, and this is the tallest building that we have. It's called the Tower of the Americas. So, we'll be around that area. The area is called the Hemisphere. Where everything happens, our downtown mm -hmm. area, Basically. Alamo Dome, Alamo. Remember the Alamo? It's a very do. small, guys. Oh my God! Look at my hand compared to my face. <laughs> I have makeup on. If you don't know, I guess I shouldn't be showing my hand. <laughs> you I think swear. you think you got like more pale during? You gotta redo the. What? I don't know. What do you mean the hand to your face? Look. Well, because I don't put makeup on my hand. Oh, okay. You've so seen I a difference. <laughs> makeup 101. It doesn't matter. <laughs> I look good. We'll figure it out. I also got a haircut between the videos. Get that face frame. I was trying to tell Amanda that our hair colors are really different. Oh, yeah. I haven't colored my hair. Okay, I see the difference. Yes. I and I told her in two years. I used to color my hair because I wanted it darker. Like, I like her dark hair. And I would color my hair and it'd be dark. And So I was trying to tell her, like, my hair is not that, you know, it's not, it's brown, but it's not dark. This is Amanda's natural hair color. So beautiful. I like it. it. Mine's like a Amongst brown. Amongst it, there's some, some white hair. <laughs> there <in> is. There. <laughs> It's called yeah. getting, well, Amanda just turned 32, so. Yay, I'm in the oh, 30s. I don't know if I should have told her age. 30, that's okay. 32. It's not bad. It's fine. Mm. So, yeah. So we had a lot of fun. We went out to eat on Thursday. We went out to eat on Friday. We went out to eat on Saturday. And then she went to brunch on Sunday. Oh, yeah. On Thursday, went to Pluckers. Friday, which like is a this wing place, place called Kona. Ooh, it's like Kona's a sushi awesome. place. And if you don't know this, they have something called a legendary Ooh. happy hour. And between between four, four and five. And their margaritas are only a dollar within that hour. One dollar. One dollar. And their happy hour is really good. They have Guys, food for just five dollars. We had ten margaritas and like sushi. Combined, not sliders. separately. <laughs> no, yeah, combined. And calamari, and it was like $44. It was crazy. It was good. And then Saturday, went to 54th Street. And then today, I had brunch with my girls. Yep. And then last week, we went to Ikea. The first time we went to the one that they just opened here in San Antonio. It's literally down the street from where we live, and it was pretty fun. We got Amanda a makeup vanity. Where are we? gonna turn into a makeup vanity so she's it's in the works i have my chair i have the drawer set up i have my makeup on top i'm just looking for a new mirror with the lights on there because i have mine but i feel like they're not strong enough hmm. no they're not i honestly like for your birthday i went to ulta to try and find that mirror but i couldn't i couldn't find it <laughs> it said it was in stock but i didn't see it there what so. they have mirrors there yeah I love it's like the impressions mirrors. I could have gone and looked today. I actually was in Ulta today. I think I actually needed to talk to somebody, but I was on my lunch break and I was trying to hurry, so. Yep. So these are just random videos. Yeah. So our vitamins, I got y'all up to date with that. I have alpha, I don't know how to say the last alpha part. Alpha thalassemia. And I think it's all, it's like a. I have it like saved in my phone. We didn't mention it before, only because I didn't want to give false, false information. Yeah, like the way that she, the person that called us, like we had liter literally had an appointment and they called us to, the, the way that it happened was Amanda called the genetics, I guess, place and they're like, oh, we have your results. And so she talked to somebody and 
you know, they she told said, they sent her information and and that was it, you know. And the lady said, "Look, like, well, Ruby has to call for herself, you know, so I she can get her." So that. I call and Amanda's on the line and the lady's literally like, "Uh, do you want to do an appointment a for a consult?" <laughs> and then we're like I was like, a consult, man. I didn't mention anything about a consult. And I chipped in, and I was like, what is this consult? What is this genetic consult? She's like, oh. We're like, does that mean I have something? Because she's emailing us the results at the, at the same time. She didn't tell us what we she's were like, good no, for. She's like, no, not necessarily. And we were like, yes, something. <laughs> so, yeah, when she sent it, it, it said positive for whatever genetic thing that I'm carrying. And I know some of it has to do with, like, being anemic. And it's basically, like... I guess you get two genes from your parents, or you get two genes from your dad, and you get two genes from your mom, and I only have three. So basically, one of them only gave me one, and the other gave me two. So. And she said th having three, having you're two, fine. Having two, you're, you have some Borderline. symptoms. Anemic. Yeah, and having three, you, you're like me, where you don't really have any sort of symptoms. Okay. But normal, like, to be completely normal, you need four, and I only have three. I have four. So, whenever we, I have a child with my genes, our child is either going to have three genes like me, or four, which is two from their dad and two from me. So, it just depends. Would it be two from their sperm donor? Yeah. Two from them and two from me, or one yeah. from me and two from them. So, yeah. What does it say? It says, I'm just reading what, I took a screenshot of it. It says, this individual possesses possesses three intact alpha globin genes due three. to the presence of a 3.7 something deletion. No alpha globin gene mu point mutations were detected. This individual is a silent carrier of alpha thalassemia. And it says silent carriers uh, of this are usually asymptomatic, which they don't show any signs of it. Risk for offspring is dependent on the partner's carrier status. Well, since she has three, it didn't really matter too much for, like, the donor one. Because either way, she was, it was going to come up with. Yeah. How she as long as, that. yeah, we're, we're pretty normal. And we asked her if that affected, like, the kid or anything like that. And she said no. Basically, it's pretty normal with the abnormal gene. Yeah, the only one that would be, like, really at risk is if she had less than two. And then the donor had, like, the same. And then one is, like, very high risk. Mm -hmm. And then possibility of zero, which is... Really high risk. Not yeah. good. Yeah. So, this one just says that it's okay just to check the partner's carrier status, which we did, and he tested negative for mm -hmm. it. And that's pretty much it on this one. Um, that's the only thing she was positive for, so... Which is not bad. It's, like, the best case... Right. Scenario. I mean, she. I was like, well, I kind of figured I'd have something because I just felt that way. And she's like, actually, like, Amanda's it's the more rare rare one because she has nothing. Like, you're screening for all these different things and she literally had nothing. Yeah, and she says, like, there's always... It w it's a matter of, like, how many you test positive for. Mm -hmm. It's usually those people. Like, Ruby only got one, and she's like, that's pretty good because other people may have, like, four, five, or even more than that. So she said our blood work looked pretty good. Yeah, and all my stuff tested in the normal range and um, negative, and that's good. Can't complain there until nothing, if and whenever I do get pregnant, it won't affect my pregnancy whatsoever. Exactly. So kudos on that. <laughs> we just wanted to elaborate a little more because we felt like we were rushing trying to get over here which we were <clears throat> we were we're sorry we <laughs> we're, we're slacking we, we were rusty we, we dusted it off we because we can't just record mm -hmm. whenever we want because like we said before we have other people in our house and they're gonna think we're weird or they can hear what we're talking about yeah and we don't want them to know right now mm -hmm. and nobody knows we have a youtube channel unless you know they randomly search and find us and they haven't told us yet which I'm hoping that's not the case because I've been like fibbing to everybody I'm talking to and playing <laughs> and playing dumb. And we're like, like uh, what? when they do that at the fertility clinic. And like, honestly, guys, it's like really close to. We can't even mention that, but <sighs> I don't even know what she's talking about. But, oh, one guys, of her friends. Okay. Oh, okay. One of her friends is trying or was trying 
we'll not mention any of that. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so it just it's hard to keep it on a low down. Exactly. But we're doing it. So we're just getting tested. I got alpha thalassemia. Amanda has a thyroid and a slight elevation of <laughs> my thyroid and a polyp that we're gonna get removed and a vitamin D deficiency hmm. and a polyp that needs to get removed from my uterus before we can do any transferring yeah but other than that we're just keep going we're pushing on through so I guess we should cut it short because we have to go to a wedding yeah so this was our little little mini second update so our last one well she'll figure out the editing <laughs> but we'll put we might just in. put this one we will put clips in <laughs> for And like I said before, subscribe. No. If you haven't subscribed. If you are, you're awesome. We love you. We appreciate you watching this video. Sticking with us. Yes. If you haven't subscribed, like hit that button. Like, yeah, you know just push it. Just you push want the button. To. Just push it. Right now. Right there. <laughs> right there. All right, guys. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Big deal at all. <laughs> Okay. And then I'm going to tell you a little bit more about what it is. Okay. So alpha thalassemia is a condition that's inherited as a recessive trait. And recessive, as you all probably remember from school, we all have two copies of every gene, one from our mom and one from our dad. Mm -hmm. And we inherit them on, on chromosomes. So genes are carried on chromosomes. Mm -hmm. Now, alpha thalassemia is a little bit of a unique condition that there are actually on each chromosome, like the chromosome from the mom and the chromosome from the dad, there are typically two alpha chains on each chromosome. So the way I think of it is like you inherit one from your mom, so I think of that like my left hand, and there's two chains on it, so two fingers extended. Mm -hmm. And then same from the dad, the chromosome from the dad with two fingers extended. So mm -hmm. a total of four chains is the typical, quote unquote, but you get two on one chromosome and two on the other. Mm -hmm shouldn't have any impact at all on pregnancy or on the baby because basically the situation is the baby from Ruby is either going to inherit the chromosome that has two chains mm -hmm. and then the baby will get two chains from the donor because the, the donor has all four yeah and so he can only he has two on one hand and two on the other okay. so the donor is going to give two Ruby is either going to give two and in that case the baby's going to have all four and be and Good not go. be a silent carrier they'll be completely Number, yes. Or Ruby's going to pass on the one copy, the donor <laughs> will pass on two, because that's all he can, and the baby Anything will have three, just like Ruby does, and be unaffected, but okay. be this okay. so silent three or carrier four. with no symptoms.